If you are maintaining cost book, so cost book will be different. If you are maintaining financial book, financial book will be different. So it is not integrated together. We are maintaining separate separate books. The items are shown only in the cost accounts. So because of that also, there will be a difference in profit between two accounts. That is cost and financial accounts. For the effective internal control of both the financial book as well as the cost book, again, it is very important to prepare reconciliation statement. Hello everyone, I'm Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on unit number 5, that is reconciliation of cost and financial accounts. So dear students, here in this particular chapter, that is reconciliation of cost and financial accounts, we are supposed to know about what is this reconciliation statement. So why we are supposed to prepare this reconciliation statement. So the meaning of reconciliation of cost and financial account. So in business concern, where non-integrated accounting system is followed. Yes, where non-integrated accounting system is nothing but here we are not maintaining the merged accounting system. We are maintaining the different different books for different different accounts. For example, if you are maintaining cost book, so cost book will be different. If you are maintaining financial book, financial book will be different. So it is not integrated together. We are maintaining separate separate books. So cost and financial accounts are maintained separately are maintained separately. The differences between the end result of these two are required to be reconciled. Yes, you will not get the same profit in cost book as well as in financial book. You will get the difference of profit in financial book as well as in the cost book. So at the end, you should get to know why this difference is showing between these two accounts. So reconciliation of cost and financial accounts mean tallying the profit or loss revealed by both set of accounts. Yes, reconciliation of cost and financial accounts means tallying the profit or loss. Yes, tallying the profit or loss revealed by both set of accounts. By both set of accounts is nothing but financial account as well as cost account. The chief aim is to find out the reasons for the difference between, is to find out the reasons for difference between the results shown by cost accounts and financial accounts. So why we prepare this reconciliation statement? Reconciliation statement is prepared to know the reasons, to know the reasons for difference in the result shown by cost accounts as well as in financial account. So you'll see the difference of profit in cost account and financial account. So why that difference is there between these two books? What are the reasons for the difference in the profit of cost books as well as the profit in financial books? So to know these reasons, we are going to find out or we are going to prepare the reconciliation of financial and cost accounts. Next, moving further, reasons for the difference. Yes, why this financial books as well as cost books shows difference. It shows difference in profit. So what are the reasons for showing difference in profit between two books? The various reasons which create a difference between cost and financial profit or loss shown by the two set of books may be listed under the following heads. Yes, because of this particular reasons, it shows the difference. Because of this five reasons, the cost books or the financial books shows the difference in the profit in a particular year. So what are those reasons? Why? And what is the reasons? So items shown only in financial accounts. Yes. Sometimes few items was shown only in financial accounts. Those items were not shown in the cost accounts. For example, profits. If profit is earned or profit is received, that profit is shown only in the financial accounts and it is not shown in the cost accounts. So because of this also, you can see the difference in profit between the financial books as well as the costing books. Second one, items shown only in the cost account. Yes, here 
the items are shown only in the cost accounts so because of that also there will be a difference in profit between two accounts that is cost and financial accounts for example expenditures if any expenditures are made that expenditures are shown only in the cost sheet but not shown in the financial accounts if it is not shown in the financial account then obviously while calculating the profits the profit will be less here in the financial account compared to the costing account so the first thing is item shown only in the financial account but not in the cost accounts and the second reason is items shown only in the cost account but not in the financial account the third reason absorption of overhead overhead is nothing but again expenses so replacement of expenses or the overhead sometimes you are not going to show the overhead in both side that is in financial accounts as well as in cost accounting because of this reason also you may see the difference in profit in both the accounts next methods of stock valuation yes methods of stock valuation is different in financial account as well as in cost account so because of that reason also the financial books as well as the cost books shows the difference in profit next one abnormal loss and gains yes because of abnormal loss and gains with respect to each book that is financial book as well as cost book because of that also you may see the difference in profit so these are all the reasons this is five are the reasons why this financial book as well as the cost book shows the difference in profit or loss so which are those reasons the first one is item shown only in the financial account second one item shown only in the cost account third one absorption of overhead next methods of stock valuation and the fifth one abnormal losses and gains so this five are the reasons why there is a difference in profit or loss in cost and financial account next moving further importance of reconciliation okay so why we are supposed to do this reconciliation so why it is important so first is to ensure arithmetical accuracy of both set of accounts for effective cost ascertainment and cost control yes to ensure arithmetical accuracy so we should be very careful with numbers if something happens with your profit or loss we might face some legal you know action right so because of that arithmetical accuracy is very much important in our financial accounts as well as in our cost account to have that arithmetical accuracy and for cost ascertainment and cost control see cost ascertainment is nothing but to allocate the fund to different departments or to control the funds by you know at the time of allocating the funds to different departments this reconciliation statement is going to help us and is very important for that particular purpose next one to identify the reasons for different results in two sets of accounts yes in two sets of accounts that is in financial accounts as well as in cost account you are going to see the difference in profit or loss so why that difference is there to know the reason for the difference we are supposed to prepare the reconciliation statement so the third reason is to evaluate the reasons for variation for effective internal control for the effective internal control of both the financial book as well as the cost book again it is very important to prepare reconciliation statement next one the fourth one to enable the smooth cooperation and coordination between activities of cost and financial accounting department yes to ensure or to enable the smooth coordination or cooperation between the departments that is between the cost department as well as between the financial department next one to ensure the standardization of policies relating to stock valuation depreciation and absorption of overhead yes to ensure the standardization that means we should have to be pakka always whether we are going accordingly or according to the rules and regulations or not so to ensure 
the standardization of policies relating to stock valuation or depreciation and absorption of overheads we have to prepare this reconciliation statement so next moving further reasons for differences yes the reasons for differences in cost and financial books and how to treat that in case if we are considering or if you are taking the cost profit if you are taking cost profit as a base okay if you are taking the cost profit as a base for several reasons what you are going to do with this reasons whether you are going to add this to the cost profit or you are going to deduct this from the cost profit first thing item of income included in financial account but not in cost account yes if few incomes are added in financial account if it is not added in cost account what you are supposed to do you are supposed to add those kind of items to costing profit or cost profit second one items of expenditure included in cost account but not in financial account yes in case if few expenditures are added in you know cost accounting and if it is not added in financial accounting what you are supposed to do again you are supposed to add those kind of expenditures to costing profit third one amount by which item of expenditure have been shown in excess in cost as compared to corresponding entries in financial account yes amount by which item of expenditure if the expenditure is shown more if it is shown more in cost sheet compared to financial account at that time also you are supposed to add the excess or over expenditure to costing profit amount by which item of income have been shown in excess in financial account in case if the income is shown excess in financial account compared to cost accounting at that time also the excess profit or excess income should be added to the costing profit next over absorption of overheads in cost account over absorption of overhead that means if the overhead is over absorbed then again you are supposed to add that to the costing profit the amount by which the opening stock of inventory is overvalued in cost account if the opening stock of inventory is overvalued in cost account then add the overvalued amount to costing profit next the amount by which the closing stock is undervalued in cost sheet if the closing stock is undervalued in cost sheet add that to the costing profit and item of income included in cost but not in financial account if any item or if any income included in cost and if it is not included in financial account so deduct it from the costing sheet costing profit item of expenditure included in financial accounts but not in cost account expenditure included in cost financial account not in cost account at that time deduct it deduct it from the cost profit next one amount by which item of expenditure have been shown in excess of financial accounts over corresponding entries of the cost account in case if the items of expenditure shown in excess in financial account compared to cost account then deduct it from the costing profit next amount by which items of income have been shown in excess in cost accounts over the corresponding entries of financial account for this entry deduct it from the costing profit next under absorption of overheads in cost account if the overheads are under absorbed then deduct it from the costing profit the amount by which the opening stock of inventory is undervalued if the opening stock of inventory is undervalued in costing then deduct the undervalued amount in costing profit the amount by which the closing stock of inventory is overvalued if the closing stock of inventory is overvalued in costing account then deduct it from costing profit so few items are supposed to be added few items are supposed to be deducted from the costing profit finally get the balance so this balance is going to be called as profit or loss as per financial account or costing account but here we have taken costing as you know base so whatever the profit or loss you are going to get that is it's going to be according to financial account so these are all the 
you know different items what we are going to add or deduct to the costing profit next one methods of reconciliation so what is this methods of reconciliation it's nothing but how we are going to solve the reconciliation statement for reconciling the profit or loss as disclosed by the financial accounting with that shown by the costing a reconciliation statement or memorandum of reconciliation account is prepared yes for reconciling the profit or loss disclosed by the financial accounting which shown by the cost accounting a reconciliation statement or memorandum of reconciliation statement is prepared the following steps have to be taken for preparation of reconciliation statement so which are all the you know steps we are supposed to consider while preparing the reconciliation statement first thing is ascertain the extent of difference between the profit or loss disclosed by two sets of book of accounts so first you should have to know whether the particular difference the particular difference is supposed to be added or deductible so first you are supposed to ascertain the extent of difference between the profit or loss so while you are looking into the you know profit and loss of both the books first you are supposed to ascertain the given reasons ascertain means nothing but whether it is supposed to be added or whether it is supposed to be deducted you are supposed to look into that next one take the base profit or loss as per any set of books either cost or financial of accounts as a starting point so after ascertaining first next the next step second step is first you have to you know prepare a base what is that base first you are supposed to take one profit as a base profit or loss of one book any book that is financial book or the costing book so any profit should be taken as base first net profit as per costing book or net profit as per financial book that thing should be taken as base first next prepare a statement by making suitable adjustments of items either added or subtracted included in one set of accounts but not in the other set so if you are taking the costing as the base or financial accounting profit as the base then go on adding or deducting the differences the items which are supposed to be added you are going to add those items the items which are supposed to be deducted you are going to deduct those items from the base that is base is net profit as per cost profit or net profit as per financial books next one in other words balances as per cost accounts has been taken as the starting point then the balance as per financial account is to be adjusted according to the transaction record in the financial accounts and vice versa so this statement says if you are taking the cost profit profit of cost books as the base the financial book adjustments to be done in order to see the difference between the costing and financial profit so these are all the methods how we are going to you know follow to prepare the financial or costing statement to know the difference or the reasons between the financial or costing statement so with this dear students i am going to wind up this session so in the upcoming session i'm going to come up with few more problems and also few more topics with respect to reconciliation of financial and costing accounts so until then thank you all have a nice day namaste